We started thinking about the business model too late. Um, I wish I had have had the advice to start thinking about the business model earlier, um, but our focus was just on getting people using the technology and liking it for a very long time. It wasn't until about one year in that we started thinking about the business model. And at that point we did have product market fit with our um, patient-centered app. Um, and at that point it was a decision about do we want to be direct to consumer? Um, and essentially the way that the technology would look then would be a self-help kind of treatment approach. Um, or do we want to be selling to SaaS to individual clinicians or to an en enterprise sales model with healthcare providers. That was a big junction for us um, and there are so many factors that were in went into that decision um, but one of probably the core factor was that eating disorders fundamentally need to be treated with a professional. Um, they're a very serious condition with a very high mortality rate um, and we wanted to retain a relationship for credibility's sake for our software um, with um, clinicians and healthcare providers and we were receiving a lot of demand from that. Um, so we, we developed a prototype um, of a web, web interface for clinicians and we saw widespread adoption um, and demand for improved features. So that led, uh, that kind of validated the need. Um, but the direct to consumer model we did a little research into as well and um, we heard a lot of stories about companies who had gone that route and it hadn't worked out for them um, because patients, if, if, if patients aren't your customer, um, they are your business essentially um, and for us they were our business so we realised that patient engagement um, would get us a lot more leverage in terms of having data to improve our model and in terms of um, solving the problems of healthcare providers. And so having a monetary barrier to patient engagement didn't make sense for us. Um, we also realised that patients were our best distribution model. Um, so by having a free app in the marketplace, which was incredibly user-friendly, um, we had an incredible marketing strategy because our users would take their data to their clinicians and ask their clinicians to register for an account with us. And that's how we've grown. We've never had to do any door knocking or um, proactive marketing and sales to clinicians. It's been grassroots approach um, to growth. So yeah, we just um, decided not to go direct to consumer for those reasons.